This is the Technospark 10 Pro. As for me, the Technospark 10 Pro is the best budget phone for around 120,000 Naira right now. And as for me, this phone beats spec by spec all other phones in this actual price range. Literally, for me, in my own opinion. Welcome back to this channel. It's your boy Dominion Aldo. Right here, guys, I'm going to be making a review on this Techno Spark 10 Pro. Me are looking at the Techno Spark 10 Pro side by side with the Galaxy A14. It looks more expensive. Literally speaking, the Galaxy A14 is merely, you know, slightly more expensive than the Techno Spark 10 Pro. Now to the specs. The Techno Spark 10 Pro is a 1080p 90Hz refresh rate and also an LCD panel and also has a 6.8 inches display. And that is to say that this phone actually has a very broad screen. It literally has a big screen for viewing videos on YouTube and um, any form of video literally. Literally speaking, at this price range, this phone is crazy and this phone can actually be used in direct sunlight. Now down to the software. This phone actually comes out of the box with the Android 13 and also comes out with iOS version 12.6. It also has this suggestion space where it uses your previous performance to actually predict the next application which you are likely to open next. Now, a swipe down from the right actually takes you to the control center, while a swipe down from the left actually takes you to the notification center. Now, to the performance. The Technospark 10 Pro comes with um, a Helio G88 and also a 8 gigs, 8 gigabyte of RAM, which is literally expandable to another 8 gigabytes of RAM using memfusion or literally virtual ram yeah which is literally memfusion and um equals to 16 gigabytes of ram literally very very crazy for this price point and playing games on this particular mobile phone would literally be really really seamless now to the cameras this device actually has two cameras and one flashlight but literally if we're going to go into more details it literally has just one camera and also an ai scanner or you can literally call it an ai lens the main camera is actually a 50 megapixels camera while the selfie camera has a 32 megapixels on this device it also has two led lights which literally has three levels of brightness while using the you know the camera the selfie camera here are some pictures taken by a fellow creator yugasin We also get a 5000 milliamps battery and um, which is literally a normal thing now. Now for an average user, this phone should literally serve you for the whole day. But if you're a gamer or you play games a lot or um, some kind of heavy applications, then this phone should just take you for a couple of hours, maybe 5 hours if I'm not mistaken. Now to the charger. This bad boy comes out, out of the box with an 18 watt charger and also a charging brick which literally charges or juices the phone from 0% to around 100% in roughly 3 hours and yeah that's it for the charger. 
and the charging experience. Now, conclusion and bonus information about this mobile device. You need to know that this device is actually NFC enabled. It is a 4G device. It has one speaker, one microphone, and um, that's literally it for this particular review on this channel. Tell me how I did on my first ever tech reviewed video on this channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you when you see me. Peace.